everyone. I'm John Carter from Bloom. And every day, we flush really valuable data about our health right down the toilet. And imagine if we could capture that data to improve our health. Well, thanks to what Bloom's working on, you no longer have to imagine uh, if we've now made it a reality. This small but mighty test card right here can not only capture that data, but can give you incredible insights into your health and help you improve your health from the comfort of your home. So what we're doing here at Bloom is um, working on a new giant space, which is the lab is coming into our houses. And it's just like supercomputers where we had huge rooms with dozens of people running around to function. These giant computers, now we have cell phones in our pocket that do all that work for us. Same thing is happening with medical labs. Instead of having giant rooms full of people, they're now going to be sitting inside of our, our bathrooms, inside of our houses for us to access daily. So what's the problem we're solving? The problem is, right now, if you wanted to track your health, you'd have to go to the doctors, you'd have to draw blood, you'd have to spend hundreds of dollars, you'd have to wait about a week, and then you could get a, a it's kind of a general overview of your health. With Bloom, what you'll be able to do is, right inside your house, you'll be able to test yourself in real time. Um, it takes just a couple of minutes to get your results, so it's in real time. There's no mailing in your, your results and waiting for it. And the beautiful thing is it's all very affordable. The entire test with about 15 different markers costs about $10. So the product breaks down into three chunks. There is a reader um, that you collect the data from, there's an app, and then there's a recommendation engine. So there's three form factors that we're using here. The first one is the test card. As I mentioned, um, this is actually live. We actually have a fully functioning app and a full functioning test card. You just pee on the end of this for a couple of seconds. You scan it with our app, and then you get this full health breakdown. And we'll talk about what we test in just a second. In addition to that, you get full recommendations to improve your health. And you can test yourself the next day, the day after that, the week later, and actually see those results improve. There's also other form factors that we've designed. There's the beautiful pebble in the middle, kind of a countertop version, travel companion and then the fully automatic touch that's at the end there. Now, the interesting thing here is we actually started with the fully automatic version. Like Our vision for this was like, let's turn every toilet into a smart toilet. So we developed that. We actually have a full working prototype uh, that's in my co-founder's bathroom right now. It works, and we actually just got a patent on that that got approved uh, last week. So we do have that, but after extensive consumer studies, we realized that actually the test card, which is a bit cheaper and just really easy to use, is what consumers prefer. So we're getting into the market with that, and then we're launching into the hardware devices next. There's about 15 different tests that version one will have on it. Um, and these are all sort of general health and wellness. You can see minerals there, vitamins, cortisol for stress, specific gravity, pH, um, creatinine, and ketones. And then you can see the second level there in blue, that's all the tests that we're going to be adding to this device once we get FDA approval. And this is one of the things we're working with Next Cubed on. They have an amazing advisory board, including the former COO of the FDA, John Norris, who's helping us get that approval process going and hopefully will be finished by next year. Now here, let's walk you through the app experience. Basically, there's a couple of different things that happen. When you first test yourself, as I mentioned, within minutes, you get a full health breakdown. You'll get the 15 different tests. You can see your score on each of those tests. You can actually click into any of those tests and get what we call the education page. And this explains what that test is. What is vitamin C? That's kind of an obvious one. But you can see all the things that vitamin C does for your body, both if you're in optimal levels and also the risks or, or problems with being low or being high on that specific test. And then this is really the meat and potatoes of the app. So the recommendation engine. The first one you can see there is the supplements. So we're going to be actually be able to tell you for the first time exactly how much you need of each supplement. Now you can go and pull this out of your kitchen cabinet. You can go buy it at a local grocery store or you can get what's called the Bloom Capsule. It's a capsule filled with a powder form of exactly what your body needs. Think of it as like the first personalized multivitamin. And if you take other things like CoQ10, vitamin D, things we don't test for, you can add up to 100 other supplements to it. And we even have a high-end version made from Whole Foods. So that's on the supplement side. On the food side, what we do is we show you a list of every food that you could see at a local grocery store. These foods are ranked based on what your body needs. So you can actually see the foods that will get you fixed in terms of your deficiencies. You can add these to your grocery list. You can export those and take them to the grocery store. Or you can just click a button and Amazon Fresh delivers the food to your door in about an hour. So it's like smart eating. You're no longer just eating based on what you think is healthy. You're actually eating exactly what your body needs in terms of nutrition. It's kind of a game changer when you get to play with the app. And I'm happy to show you guys uh, if you come find me later for a demo. And then the last one here is on the lifestyle. So we track hydration. 
So now we can tell you exactly what your body needs in terms of ounces of water. Right, so right now, we kind of follow this general rule, I've got to drink like eight glasses a day or whatever. Now this is going to tell you exactly what your body needs because we're all different. We all have different hydration levels. We all have some drinks tonight. Tomorrow you might need a little bit more water than, say, you know, Friday morning. And for some of us, Saturday morning, we might need a lot of water. So uh, this is actually going to tell you exactly where you stand. And we also have cortisol for stress. So you can try out things like taking a walk, taking a nap, things like that for lowering or changing stress levels. If the cortisol level is high, you're stressed out. If it's low, you might be depressed. So you can work on that and see those levels change in real time. It's a great time to launch a health tracker. Fitness tracking, since Fitbit really kind of started that space, has been huge. 117 million devices are going to be sold this year alone. It's growing by 25% a year right now. This is a perfect time to take it to the next level. We're like a fitness tracker, but we track what's going on inside your body. The market opportunity, this is just the US here. Pretty massive, 170 million of us understand that taking supplements are good for our health. We're kind of somewhat health conscious. About 50 million of us actually exercise, eat right, and they're what we call health optimizers. Those are the people we really like because they are um, also have spent money on a fitness tracker already. And so going after that market, 5% you know, of that would be about 2.5 million people. We actually um, did some consumer studies to see how many people would be interested in something like this. And uh, the results were sort of off the charts. About 87% of those health optimizers said they were very or extremely interested in the product. So then what we did is we actually tested it. And we thought we'd do about 3,500 people signing up by the end of this year, kind of start slowly. We turned on a wait list um, on our site. We got 3,500 people in two weeks. So the demand seems to be really off the charts. Um, and it's kind of obvious. I mean, this is a little bit of a groundbreaking you know, concept here. If it does what it says it does. So then what we did is just some back of the napkin math here. The assumptions are based off of a survey that we did with 500 users. And they said 17% said they would do it daily, about 46% weekly, and about 36% monthly. And that ends up being about $650 a year if they actually do that. So people kind of survey a little optimistically. So we cut 40% off that. That gets us to $400 a year in recurring revenue. That doesn't include the supplement sales, doesn't include the Amazon cut we get on the Amazon food. But just at that, that's 250,000 users. That's a billion. We think we can be at about uh, potentially as high as 50,000 users by the end of this year based on some of the initial uh, marketing tests that we've been running. How do we market it? Uh, we have a direct-to-consumer play, which is obviously the, you know, the sort of SEM, SEO, affiliate, that kind of stuff online. That's what we've been testing so far. We also have distribution channels, doctors, nutritionists, gyms, med spas. We have a whole BD team of six people that are working on that. And it's shaping up really nicely. We have uh, beta programs lined up for Q2 or Q3 um, across pretty much every channel there. And then you go into retail, and we'll even put it in your toilet uh, eventually. Now, the team here is, uh, is an interesting mix. About half of the team is very consumer focused. They're all about building a beautiful product, building the brand right, and being able to attract millions of consumers. And they all have experience doing so. And then we have the other side, which is all the engineers and scientists and PhDs. It's a really, you know, it's like an odd couple. We, uh, but, but it's making magic together. Like, this is the first time either of us have worked with, you know, the other side. And that's how Bloom is kind of bridging the gap. We're doing really amazing science work, but we're also making something that consumers want to buy and go direct to consumers. In terms of competition, uh, you know the kind of standard LabCorp and Quest, the duopoly will be very disruptive to them given the cost and the fact that you can do it from home. Um, and the other competition you see there is really going after the sort of doctor market. And these are all prescription based. And we are really uh, kind of in, you know, really leading the pack in terms of going direct to consumer. The timeline right now, uh, we have a working product. As I mentioned, we got a patent on the automatic device last week. We've proven out uh, some really interesting demand levels uh, online. And so what we've done is this slide is a little bit dated. Uh, we originally were going to raise 1.2 million. We've raised a million already. Given the uh, traction we saw on the marketing side, we're actually going to have to ramp up manufacturing because we think we'll need about a half a million cards by the end of the year. So we're going to go to 1.75. And we have, so that means we have about 750,000 left. And uh, yeah, a lab in your home is going to uh, improve your health and extend your healthy lifespan. So if you guys are interested, um, I'm obviously available. And we also have a bunch of the Bloom team members here. If you guys are on Bloom, if you stand up real quick, just so people can get an eye of you. So we've got a couple in the back there and right here, Doug. So come find us. We'd love to uh, answer your questions. Thanks, guys. Woo!